Raising Wellness Beauties and welcome to our February 2019 bullet journal spread. As you guys know, if you watch the January 2019 spread and the full 2019 spread, you'll know that this is my first year bullet journaling and I just want to say that this past month of January, I have actually checked off every single thing that I ever put on my to-do list. So I highly recommend bullet journaling because it is this creative space that's all your own that allows you to fully, um, I think, more align with your dreams and goals because you create this whole spread so it just gives you more of that oomph to create and keep going and checking off those things on your to-do list so if you haven't started bullet journaling yet I highly recommend going to check out my full 2019 spread so you can see how I set up my bullet journal I will link that down below and let's jump right into this February 2019 spread for you guys I'm so excited I love it so much So we are going to start out here with a quote that I just really want to take with me into this next coming month and that is be still and listen. I'm currently taking an MBSR course which is a mindfulness based stress reduction course and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some more information about that this month but it is a lot about just getting centered, being mindful, being still, and listening to your body. And then with our theme, I'm going to be adding these fern type plants with little stars and um, dust of magic uh, in there, just to remind me to get outside this month. I think it's, it's so important for my health and I know for many other people to get outside. So I wanted to add that into my bullet journal just so I could be reminded every single day get outside that's where you feel whole that's where you can find that stillness and just tune in listen in be surrounded by the magic of mother earth and I just use four different types of greens in here to make the ferns pop and then I went in with a light pink and a darker pink and then a gold for the stars and I outlined the be still and listen with a drop shadow of gray but I went back in with this mustard color that you're gonna see me outline the second page of this spread um, I'm outlining February with that mustard color just to make it pop make it a little bit more fun and adding in the ferns over here onto this page to blend the theme together and I'm going to add in the ferns and then add in these little dots they're just circle dots that I made with this fine point sharpie pen and little starbursts which I actually used in my January theme too and I really like them and I transferred them over from our fireworks theme into this magical mystical nature theme just the same I went back in with those pink dots and then I just did a slight outline with the darker pink just to make them pop make this theme come alive I had a lot of fun with colors and adding these different elements it took me quite a while to make this theme but it was really fun to uh, just play with color so if you guys are going to do this I urge you play with color too you know have some fun with it let your creativity spiral out onto the pages And done with the first two pages so these next two pages are the full calendar layout for the month of February and instead of the floating boxes I decided to do a grid here all in one square rather than in individual floating boxes just to try something new out and on the top where I'm going to put the Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I put these little ferns in there and I'm just gonna color them in just to make it fun to bring the ferns into a different element to keep the theme going and just I was getting creative, you know, trying to figure out new ways of doing things, new ways of seeing things, and it was actually really fun. And then I just went in and put in the numbers of the month, and over here is my social media tracker. 
and I'm really excited to say that we have gone up over a hundred new beautiful individuals here on the Raising Wellness channel. We have risen up about a hundred new followers on the Raising Wellness community page over on Instagram. And I just want to say that I'm so incredibly grateful for you guys. I'm so excited to have you as a part of this community and to rise up together. The more people we can get in this space, the better, the more energy, the more vibrancy. And so I just want to take this moment and say thank you guys so so much for being here, for being a part of this rising collective, for being a part of the Raising Wellness Beauties. I love you guys so much. And in this empty space, I added in some ferns here, and I really wanted to just add in a couple of little quotes here and there, just to have these little affirmations and reminders every single time I look at the calendar. So I wrote in there on one of the ferns, you'll see, create so get creative and let go of expectations is really what I was going for there and then on this side I just did one big fern to fill in the space give it a little color over there and I wrote be free here just to remind me to let go of expectations be free create what I want to create for you guys I have um, so many surprises coming your way and I just want to be reminded, keep going, keep creating. And turning that creativity cap on, I find is super helpful when you are trying to make those gratitude lists, when you're trying to get into that mindset of gratitude, a lot of people struggle at first because it's not a place where your mind has been before. So it takes putting that creative cap on to find those places, those little spaces where you can be grateful. So putting that creativity cap on, creating this bullet journal is it's really helpful for getting into that creative space, allowing thoughts to flow again that maybe you haven't had in a while. And now I did something a little bit different here. I, because I don't have a white marker or a white out pen, I took some acrylic paint in white and made little bubbles and it actually came out kind of cool. Uh, it looks like a watercolor. And then I went in with a fine tipped marker to make the tops of the days. And it actually bled through to the other page, but it looks pretty cool, I think. It looks like a little watercolor dot. So we just are gonna go with it. And here is our mindfulness tracker. So if you remember last month, I had five to six, I think, habits that I wanted to track, and I just put them in one big starburst, and I would just write down, um, use a specific color if I did like four of those things or three of those things, but I found that it was really hard to keep track of what I did do, so I'm going to be creating these separate boxes here for meditations, working out, drinking water, doing my affirmations, getting outside, and getting eight hours of sleep. So it's a little bit time consuming to have to make all these little teeny calendars, but what I'm gonna do is you'll see I'm making all these calendars and I'll just circle the days that I did do that habit that I want to track. And I also, later in this spread, you'll see that I have created my week spreads to help me to facilitate getting better at keeping with these uh, personal goals because it was actually really hard for me last month to keep with them and I think it was because of the way that I was tracking it. So new idea for you guys, if you want to put this into your bullet journal, we'll see how it goes. And I do want to point out that on the top of this where it says mindfulness tracker, I am not good at the hand lettering calligraphy thing yet, but I do want to get the look. So what I do is I write out in cursive, I wrote out mindfulness, right? And then in every place there was a downstroke, I would thicken that line and just color it in. So you'll see me do that on this expenses page as well. It's kind of a, a cheat code for making it look like you did calligraphy. So I really liked my expenses tracker last month and I wanted to keep with that tracker just to see 
where my money is going. Um, but I did a couple of things different here. So same three boxes, description, and then money's coming in, and then what money's going out, and the totals down on the bottom. But instead I went in and I have my budget already laid out in a Google form. So I just went in with a marker and wrote down those things that I know specifically what I'm paying for each and every single month, like rent, electricity, um, paying for the spaces for me to teach meditation in. So I just went in there, wrote those things down, and then I separated every other line, coloring it in with yellows just so I could see because everything kind of got jumbled last month so it, it'll just keep it a little bit more organized and I want to keep up with this expenses tracker because I have a lot of big projects in the works that I'm creating for you guys so I want to know what money I have what money I don't have what I can do with the money I have to make these projects for you guys so on this next page it's February goals and I found last month I didn't need as big of a page for my own personal goals and then a separate page for my business goals so I just separated this page in half and you can see me going in with there with the cheat code calligraphy there and so I separated personal and raising wellness goals just to keep it nice and concise simple which is what I'm going for this year is keeping things simple and I just went in with our magical nature ferns here. And I think it's really important to have this separation between personal and business or school or work goals just so you can make sure that you are filling your cup first so that you can be good at whatever your job is, whatever school is, whatever um, you're trying to create in your life. So make sure you separate your goals there so you can have a fine differentia differentiation between the two rather than having them all come together. And this next page is just my YouTube brain dump. That page is already filled in, but if you guys have any ideas for the coming month of March that you want me to create for you, different types of meditations, different types of organization skills, different types of um, gratitude, mindfulness, you know, any kind of things like that, prayer, affirmation, anything you guys want me to talk about, comment it down below and I will for sure put it on my March brain dump for you guys. And I decided to add in this um, camera here and I literally just opened up my phone and looked at the emoji for a camera, like a film camera, and traced it into here. Pretty proud of it. I'm not an artiste by any means, so I'm pretty proud of this. And those are those two pages all ready to go. I really love all these greens and pinks that are in here. So these next two pages I am super stoked about because we cover new moon and full moon stuff on this channel all the time and I wanted to create this spread for you guys so you can get an idea to put one in your bullet journal or any place that you are writing things down. I think it makes it really fun. So I have a page for new moon intentions and then full moon realizations and releases because the new moon is a time to plant those seeds and the full moon is a time to have that harvest to have those realizations to let go of things that aren't serving you and so I just separated these two pages so on the new moon page I have those arrows pointing off and those are going to be different intentions and of course I can add more if more things come up throughout the meditation this month and I just did a open circle to represent the new moon and then on the full moon side I filled in the moon with our ferns and some dots and holes to kind of represent the, the moon there. And I kept that page open for any kinds of realizations or journaling that comes up post full moon meditation this month. So I hope you guys like this simple idea to put it into your journal or to just use it as a tool. I'm really excited to use it. And now we're going to be moving on to our first weekly spread. So instead of floating boxes like I did 
last month I decided to do a full box here and just separate it out into the seven days of the week and I separated the top to be my personal goals. So that's gonna go alongside those goals that I have written down and also alongside those mindfulness things that I'm tracking. So that's what's gonna go in that first half, that personal first half of the box. And then the second box is business stuff, things for raising wellness. So you can use this box for things for work, things for school, you know, things for whatever it is that you're trying to work towards that's not your own individual personal goals. And I just went in with this mustard color which is in with the starburst and I just really love this mustard color this year. I'm not sure why, it's just calling out to me. And to finish it off I went in with some of those pink dots and filled in the ferns, that green color. And like I uh, did last month, I'm going to link below all of the pens, markers, all those things that I use so that you guys can get them if you like them. And here is our first week spread. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to get creative in your bullet journals or wherever you write down your to-do lists and things that have to get done for the coming month of February 2019. I really enjoyed getting creative and just spending this time creating with color and different ideas for setting myself up for the month. So I hope that you guys got lots of ideas. If you did, don't forget to give this a like and subscribe to our channel, hit that bell so you can have way more ideas for gratitude, mindfulness, meditation, organization, creativity in your life. I'm sending you guys so much love and so much gratitude. And before we wrap up this video, let's just do one more run through. Here we have it, the full run through of February 2019. Hope you guys enjoyed all these color combinations this month like I do and the element of nature and magic and all these beautiful greens and especially these pages I'm so stoked about them so that wraps it up you guys Sending you so much love, so much gratitude wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video.